Hey, what's up? From rainy Pennsylvania. Um, I'm going to start uh, part two of Scout 60 LED replacements. Um, see my other video. Sorry about the cars. It is raining. Um, I did a video on, excuse me, replacing the front turn signals. The 2019 Indian Scout with a relay setup. So what I'm going to do today is show you a new piece for the rears. And that's uh, Kuryakin. Part number is 2588. And what this is, is a four pin harness that plugs into the rear of the bike. Yes, I don't have my fender on. I took my fender off. I'll go over a couple things here shortly. Um, let me take it out of the box. So what it is, is it's a, it's a T harness. And it plugs into your original let me grab it. Your original tail harness. When you take off the, the rear fender, there's your tail harness, right? And your tail harness plugs into the actual uh, rear light, which I'll show you here. So you still run into the same problems that you have on the front turn signals. So what I mean by that is, um, again, if you watch the other video, Indian has two ECUs, uh, I guess one and two. What they end up doing is they throw a ground from the ECU every time you put your turn signal on. So unlike the traditionals where there's, you know, a ground and then a ground wire that goes 12 volts when you click the signal, this goes two 12 volt wires, one constant, and then one goes to ground or yeah it goes to ground when you flip the turn signals so it's kind of like a reverse polarity setup but with these bikes being more like uh, modern cars is which I work on for a living uh, electronics um, you're starting to see this more and more uh, more efficient less wiring throughout the bike why not right so when I said T harness let me get back to this sorry I like to ramble so you have your mail right here from the Kiriakin piece. Plugs right in. Then this plugs into the OEM rear light, which by the way is LED from the factory. Now, you see I got a plate down here. That's also a Kiriakin side mount plate that has a wire with lights that I'm also gonna run and I'll talk about that as I uh, get to doing this setup. So I'm going to show you this. This is the rear tail section. No, it doesn't normally look like that. What I did was I cut off the plate holder and <clears throat> with an aerosol, it kind of went like that. You can see it, right? I don't want that. Now you're not going to see this really anyways and there's the LED light for the uh, license plate that was under there so you're not gonna see any of the cut because when it goes up into the fender it literally goes up into the fender something like in here Let me show you it goes up in like that and then the tail tail light comes down over but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the existing plug right and I'm gonna cut this and then put some shrink over these two wires cut them at different lengths and then I'm gonna use this tail connector um, and what I'll do is solder it to the Kuriakin light so that everything becomes plug-and-play right now is it gonna avoid the warranty I really can't see how but who knows but it's my bike and again these are your bikes and do this at your own risk but Kuriakin has come out with a great idea so I'm gonna review this and install it and my guess is it has transistors in here um, to switch the ground positive uh, or the positive to ground 
I think it switches it in there. That's what I think. I didn't take it apart. I'm not going to because it's sealed up and waterproof. Um, but it allows you to run their lights. And I know if you saw the front first video, sorry, I'm just rambling here, but I use the Kellerman lights for Yakin by Kellerman. And, oh, these things are awesome. Well made, made in Germany. Right? And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a halo light around it, right? Stop, brake, run, and turn signal. So there's four wires coming off of here. Guess what? Oops. There's four wires coming off of here. So, yes, you have to do some soldering, but Kuryakin has been great enough to give you a pigtail. So, you plug the pigtail into this end here, and then you can solder your lights in. I like these much better. Get an idea. Much better, much smaller, much brighter. Three-year warranty on the lights. They're not cheap. You get what you pay for. Or do you like these? Huge. Huge. Look at that. Not a fan. I mean, that's enormous. Sorry, but I'm not a fan. Here you go. Let's do a side-by-side. -side. Try to turn this a little bit. There you go. Yeah. That thing can fit inside that light. The Kellerman. So... That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, if I confuse you or you don't understand something, hit me up in the comments. Um, try to answer your question as best as possible. Um, wiring, I've been doing for 30 years, so I'm kind of used to this. So the other thing, how it works, is you have a ground and, a, and 12 volts, right? So that's going to go up to the battery. They already have terminals on them. So what I'll do is cover those in TechFlex. And this little module should fit up inside a fender lip. I see there's zip tie holes. Again, this is something I haven't done yet. So we'll see how it works out. But awesome little piece. So I will get done here mounting the stuff back on the fender and do some fender work and then we will go from there all right see you shortly all right I'm back so here's the piece that I put back on put the actual Indian light back on there's the three screws it just there's there's uh, three threaded stems that come up through the OEM light the red light here sorry if the picture's not real good I'm doing this while I'm holding it on my lap so, here you have your actual feed right here from the bike. Your left turn signal is blue. That is your LED light from the original license plate light. Take that back. And then you have your right turn signal. And then this is your female LED. That plugs right into here. Right? But since the LED gets its power from this one, this is why I was going to trim this one back, heat shrink the wires, and use this connector coming from my license plate light. My new one here, the, the Kuryakin one. So what I'm hoping to do, which as I'm looking is going to be a feat, is taking the Kuryakin module, putting it up in here. Actually, might have to trim those off or trim trim these off to get it to fit in there. Or better yet, might be able to go in here. See, sorry guys, bouncing around. But anyways, so the whole point of this is all this jiggling and whatnot is to 
figure a mounting spot for this. Once this is in here, once this is placed, I figure out a spot to put it up and out of the way. Then you have your left and right, your left and right pigtails, which are these two white ones here, right? You have those to connect to, right? To your aftermarket lights. So there's really not much, you're really not going to use this at all. You're not going to use your turn signal ones because you have new ones. So what I'll do is the way they work from the factory is they fold up in here like that. Sorry if my hand's in the way. And then they were zip tied. You know. So I'll try to do that to get as much space as possible. And I'll kind of walk you through what I did. It's going to be obviously impossible to try to hold this and do all that at one time, but uh, I wanted to give you an idea. I was thinking there might be some space under here, but there's not. The actual factory light is tight up in there. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that, they have the whole board gel coated, which is obviously good since it's your rear fender. But um, let me try to figure out what to do here. Now, if you see here, this is the side that the factory wiring comes up, which is your passenger side, right? So this is your right turn signal mount, and this is your left turn signal mount, which I'm going to have Joker Machine pods that fit right in there, and I'm going to run the uh, Kellerman lights right through the hole here, and they come with, I believe, I want to say a 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, I'll put some blue Loctite on it, obviously. Um, and then you don't see this at all. Um, I don't know if I can try to reach over and give you an idea here. Ooh. Try to hold this. There. You don't see it. So, and I got, man, I got some scratches on the back of this. I have to buff this out. But anyways, all right, so let me try to figure a way to, to mount this and then uh, be right back and we'll take a look and see how to do it okay all right see you back all right I'm back uh, I apologize it's, it's like a day or so later um, we had a lot of thunderstorms the night I was trying to first go over all this all right so I got the fender set on it, it's just sitting there it's not bolted um, you see the cable right there for the license plate light. Um, what I was doing is I, I wanted to, I did figure out where to, to, to mount the module, but I just wanted to show you, you can see down there the blue factory left turn signal, but the module's up in there. It's, there, it's not even remotely close to the tire. But what I wanted to show you is, you know how I trimmed the back, you, you, can't, you can't see that. I mean, it's, it's way up there. Um, and then here is the bracket for the original turn signals. So what I was mentioning, I think I mentioned from Joker Machine, you can purchase this, right? And then what that does is, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see me. See the big holes? It just lines up. And what it does is, it gives a nice mounting hole for your lights. Now, if you can imagine how big the LED or the factory light was sticking off that far I mean I don't know if you can get a good angle at that I'm trying to do this on myself I mean that's that's huge so then if I take sorry cars are going by once again it's really nice here today no humidity Pennsylvania now here's the other one right so imagine that'll go right in the hole there and go, I'll just put it upwards as if you can see it that way, even though it won't go that way. You know, let me actually hold on. Put it through. Get an idea. I actually want to see this myself. 
and then I'll pull the fender off and give you a look. Let's put this through. Oh, come on, go through there. Oh. There it goes. Perfect fit. So you see that? All right? And then I want to scratch that. And the fender is sketchy. It's just sitting on there. I don't like that, but I guess I realized I got a lot of buffing to do on this rear fender. All right. There you go. Oops. There. So, if you get an idea, move you back here. That's actually all the further that that is going to stick off of there, which is a huge difference. It makes everything more compact. Trying to get a better view here. Hold on. <clears throat> See if I can bring you away. There you go. Right? Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, and again, let me bring you back closer. You can't see anything. Right here is the the. Uh, license plate light from factory. Now, I'm not going to use that. I left it there because it doesn't bother anything, but I'm using the light from the original license plate light to light up the Kiriakin side plate, vertical plate. Alright, so give me a second here. I'm going to kind of pick you up and move you a little bit. I'm going to slide this fender off. focus so if you can see what I ended up doing I'm gonna turn this so I can see what I'm showing you okay so what I did if you take a look is I actually removed the bracket that I trimmed this bracket right here this is where I did all the trimming right in here um, so I removed the bracket Sorry, I'm trying to hold this. I removed this, and it gave me enough space to pull the Kuriakin connectors up into the original OE opening, which is right here. Let me see if I can, right in there. Let's see? And then this, this side over here is your turn signals your factory ones which are going to get tied back down to the original spot and then it actually allows you to God, this is so awkward um, see if I can position it it allows you to take this which is the Kuriakin harness that's plugged into the original rear tail light module right that's where my fingers point the original tail light module and then you have these two left and right white plugs, the JST connectors, females, and then, or males, then the female ends plug into this and go to each of your, where am I at? Each of your Kellerman turn signals, which have four wires coming off of it. So you see what it's doing? You're kind of, you're kind of bypassing, you're not kind of, you, you actually are bypassing the OE plug, the OE turn signal plugs, which are right here, right? Then this black plug is the power supply for the factory um, license plate light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a harness using The female plug that came from the original LED tail light or tail light uh, license plate light. So I'll cut that. 
shrink wrap the factory wires, use this plug at the end of my Kuriakin uh, license plate light. So what I can do then is just take this once it's cut and I'll solder it to the Kuriakin one and then plug it right into the female factory power supply. So I'm just utilizing the factory plugs rather than, you know, soldering it and or butt connecting it. I, I don't I don't like to use butt connectors. Um, nothing wrong with them, but they can fail. Uh, and then back to how I mounted this. So if you look right in here is a zip tie. So what I did is I fed it through. The Kuriakin 2588 module has a hole has two tabs. Uh, one on the, the left and right side. One has one tab and the other has two. I just took a, a slim zip tie, wrapped it through and around. That's not going anywhere. To the front part. And then in the back part, on the Indian uh, taillight support, there's already holes. So I took a longer zip tie, fed it through. Popped it out through that side, yanked tight, got it really, really tight, took this part, put it off to the side, the actual locking mechanism, zip tie mechanism, and then that holds this thing. It's not going anywhere. And when I put it on the fender, or on this, uh, the actual frame, fender frame, it's, it's not even close to the rear tire. So that's what you want. You want to keep it away from the rear tire for obvious reasons. Um, and it worked out so far, all right? So, what am I going to do with this? Well, if you look, there's a whole big spot right up in there. Right in there. This whole area. So these plugs actually, I haven't trimmed anything and zip-tied the wires out of the way yet. I just wanted to show you where I mounted it. And again, you know, come up with your own way, but I figured this would be, you know, I'll do all the legwork here and see how I like it it snaps right up in there. Can you see it? You can see it, but it pops up in that hole. That leaves the two left and right turn signal plugs open, right? And then this is your receiving plug from the ECU, right? So this actually is going to take the factory harness and it's going to plug right in there coming from the back of the bike, or from the front to the back. And then that has room to tuck up in there, and then I'll zip tie it and keep it all neat and the way so far. I mean, it took me a little while to try to figure out the best way to do this, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's other ways, but this is just the way I came up with it. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mount the turn signals. All right, so... Let me reverse gears here. If you read the instructions, which I do, um, it tells you not to tidy up the wiring until the end. I, I get why they're saying that, but in this particular case, I would figure it would be best to mount your, to get this mounted, the brain, the Kuriakin 2588, get that mounted, have your two pigtails open, Get your turn signals in to their holes, to their respective left and rights. Figure out how much wire you're going to need to go from here to here. Where am I at? From here to here, which I'm looking at it in real life. You're talking four inches at most. You know, I don't want a huge pile of wires to try to tie up. So why wouldn't I put the turn signal in? Sorry, I know I'm jerking all around. Why wouldn't I put the turn signal in, determine my length of wire, put the pigtails on, solder them into here, into, into their respective connectors. They have a plug, uh, a female plug that goes into these. Why wouldn't I determine that, get it all tied up, nice and neat, set the fender loosely on, and run your wires, like I said, I, I think I showed you in the first part. I'll pull 
this up here. There is a um, positive and negative that go to the battery. There are already ring terminals on them. So loosely setting it on and then tying it to the factory harness that goes up to the uh, up the passenger side seemed to me like the most logical thing to do rather than trying to tidy it up once you run everything. I, I don't know. Each person has their own way of, of doing this, so I guess that's Kiriakin's way, and I, I got no problem with it. I just figure if I'm doing this, I'm going to do it the way that I don't have to keep going back. Now, I will have to go under the bike once the fender's on and plug in the factory connector and then make some adjustments to the wiring, but I don't think that's nearly as hard as getting all this stuff pre-prepped getting it where you want it, get the cables where you want it, get the turn signals where you want it, and then, you know, cut the length. I, I just, I don't know. That's just the way I think. Um, but so far, it really hasn't been hateful. If you're not mechanically inclined uh, or electrically inclined, you might want to have somebody do it for you. But really, if you take your time, you look at the service manual, the fender comes off. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's it's two bolts on each side, and then I disconnected this from the back of the bike and pulled the fender off. Now, they say there's a plug in the front. I got a 19, this is a Scout 19, uh, 2019 Scout 60, and there was no plug in the front. It tied into a direct harness. Um, and I pulled that whole harness out of the battery compartment. There was nothing there. So I don't know if they changed it, but they're saying you can disconnect it up front. Yeah, no, I couldn't find that. Um, so let me get the turn signals mounted. Um, let me get these mounted and figure out the wire and all that. I'm not going to go through soldering it. I mean, it tells you what wires go to what in the instructions. But I want to get it cleaned up and show you what it looks like when it's cleaned up. In other words, I'm not going to show you where it says black to black, gray red to red. You know what I mean? It, it, it actually literally gives you it. Um, some of my other videos when I'm working on scooters, I show people how to solder. So I don't really want to go through that again. If you have, if you want to, just leave a comment and I'll go over it again. But let me get all this stuff prepped and ready. See how much space I have once I tuck the cables back into here and we'll go from there okay thanks a lot and I'll be back when uh, I finish this up here all right I'm back so I decided I wanted to show you so the lights are in they're mounted okay now if you see there's four wires now again these wires are designated to what they go through or what they are in the uh, Kiriakin instructions. But what I wanted to show you is, which I didn't even realize, they even give you the uh, the pigtails are even labeled left and right. But they also give you a diagram that tells you what colors are left and what colors are right. But, you know, they, they plug and play. You know, here's your right harness. And that's going to plug into here. like that and then here's your left harness that's going to plug in like that and then your left is going to tie into your left okay so it's pretty cool all right let me get this uh, soldered up and then we'll we'll go from uh, we'll go from there okay All right, I'm back. So I want to show you what I did here. Um, don't mind the double shrink tube there. I had one that split. Um, got the lights mounted. And what I wanted to show you is, I'm going to tilt this down so you can see. Um, everything is tucked in. Okay, see that? It's all, it's all tucked in. Try to bring it a little closer. And then that is the male receptacle waiting for the factory connector. And then that will tuck right in like that. 
Okay. And then here, set that down. Oh, the other thing I want to show you. So I just use existing holes that were there from the original bracket. But if you look on the left and right side, I have shrink wrap just closed over. Or I use glue shrink wrap. Shrink wrap that actually has glue inside it. And then I squeeze the ends together. And they're over the original uh, Indian turn signal connectors. And that's just to protect them from dirt and water. Um, I don't know if it's really necessary. And then if you see this, this is my mating connector. This was the actual OE light for the uh, geez, license plate light. And what I did was cut and shrink those off and then I use that connector because that gets powered by the rear brake light. Well, ignition and ground, which is white's ignition, ground is black. So I'm going to attach that to the Kiriakin, uh license plate, uh, the vertical mount license plate light. And then when you turn the bike on, then that'll light those. Now there's nothing CAN bus in this, it's just a ground and ignition. Uh, unlike the uh, turn signals or whatnot, it gets your signals from the EC, uh, ECU. So now that that's done, then this trailing wire here with the mail and uh, the positive and negative ring terminals that go to the battery. Now if you look inside the fender, you're going to see that's where one of the original uh, zip tie straps were. Now Kiriakin gives you some zip tie mounts, right? It's just two-way tape, but if you prep it and clean it, the alcohol pads I give you, on the inside of the fender here where I had already cleaned it, it was filthy, um, they should stick. Um, if you don't prep uh, metal or whatever plastic whenever you're attaching these two-way tape things, they're, they're eventually going to fall off. But if you prep it, I haven't had too many issues with them. And even so, I got these things so tight that even if one zip tie actually gives, it's backed up by another one. But, again, you don't see any of that stuff. The lights are awesome. I really, really like them. A lot. And so, what I'm going to get up to next is, I'm actually going to run the wires. Let me, let me take you over to the bike. Um, bear with me, i got to pick you up here. Here's, here's passenger side, or, or passenger side, uh, the right side of the bike. And that is the female OEM plug that's going to go into that one plug that's left. And you might be saying, man, that's a lot of wire. Don't forget, the fender hangs off on these bikes. So, what I mean by that is, you have your fender support, right, where the two... Uh, maybe two bolts that attach the fender to and then it actually hangs off so the light will go along and actually plug in like that it's not too much but if you look here Indian has these built in things uh, wire supports it looks like they're crimped and smashed on each side to lock into place, but there is enough room to fit wire through there. I was already checking. If you push to one side or the other, it opens it up. And then, I'll take you on a quick journey here. I'm going to move you around all the way to the battery box. And I'm going to start directing you downwards here. All right, so if you follow the wire, which is right here, it goes down, and you can actually see my finger on the other side. That is an entrance to the battery box, and there actually is, let me see if I can get a better view. 
see if I can get you closer. See that tab? That actually has a U-shape in it. And you can just turn it to the side, and the U-shape is cut out on the inside. Well, that's for wires. It keeps your wires from falling down into there. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna utilize all the OEM tabs. Follow along, bring it around, down, and then right into this tab right there. I wonder if I can make it any closer. Let me see. finger right there and you pull it up through and then you have your positive and negative of the battery now what I'm going to do with the um, Kiriakin license plate light is let me fade you back here I'm going to bring the wire for the license plate light up where my finger is right so rather than making one connection, if the bike ever needs to get worked on and they need to take the belt off or the wheel off, and because you, you really have to run it either over top of the belt, um, meaning the support, but at some point it's got to go down and into the battery box. So I'm just going to use a quick disconnect, a JST two-pin connector. Um, that way, in here, I'll label it. And then you can just disconnect it, and you're done. Um, I thought about doing out with the power too uh, for the for the tail light, since it's your actually it's your own module for the uh, the Kiriakin 2588, I think it said it is. Uh, but you know, I mean, I just, might just hook it to the battery. But you can see here, Indian uses JST connectors. I don't know why, but they do. Pull some out here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see. Let's see if I can focus in on that a little bit. Right there. That's your JST two pin, and then they have a four pin and whatnot. But I have a two pin, so if I make a removable connector like that for the um, license plate light. And then just label it, you know, if I ever need it to go in for service or whatever, I can just say, hey, underneath the seat, you know, disconnect it and if you need to move anything. And then you just reconnect it because I don't want anybody cutting the wires. Um, all right, so I'll get to that part and let you know, almost finished here. All right, thanks a lot. Bye. All right, man, I'm back. Let me see here some reason my connection isn't working. Give me a second. Oh, still not working. Alright, anyways. Um, I'm all finished up here. Besides, when I'm done here, i got to buff the heck out of that rear fender. Uh, let me see if I can bring you in a little bit. Put you down some. Alright. So, let's... Uh, Let's give it a shot here. All right, let's take a look at it. I'm gonna walk behind you here if it moves. I apologize. There we go. All right. Let's see. All right. So you got your turn signals or your uh, on lights, your run lights, in red, and. Got your signals. Left. Right. Now you got your brake. Boom. Suckers are pretty bright. Definitely like to look better than the originals. So, uh, what else do I got? Oh yeah, my license plate light's lit. I don't know if you can see it because of it being LED. But 
that's also lit. Let's see if I can move in on that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's lit. And then, like I said, all I did was make a uh, a mating connector up in the battery compartment. So if anybody needs to work on the vehicle, you can just disconnect it. But um, I still got to adjust the lights. I think they're off a little bit. Um, and that's easy. You just go right underneath there and get a 13 millimeter that holds them in and just finagle them so they look as even as possible. Um, I like them. I, I, you know, I don't know about anybody else, but they are the um, Kerrigan by Kellerman. They're Kellerman lights. They're the bullet lights. And I believe it's the DF-1000. Um, I believe. And there's different ones. There's ones that you can only use for the rear, which are these ones. And then there's the ones I have in the front that I did on another video. Um, but, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Let's fire this sucker up real quick. little farting gift. Alright guys, I'll see you later.